Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Honkai Star Rail. We're outside of Svarog's base, and we will be heading in there soon-ish. We have a few things to uh, to address first. Um, of course, we've just logged in, so we've got some assignments to uh, complete. Um, we've got some more messages, so always look forward to those. And also, there's something here. Oh! I did actually log in a few hours ago, because I did some of my daily things, like the Calyxes. I got given, like, was it 90? 90 jade or something like that? And a bunch of those on, honor, honor, honorific shards or whatever you call them. Um, yeah, I am i don't know why. Does that just happen every now and then? Because I was like, sweet. Uh, we got some notices. I don't know what these notices are. Uh, Garden of, of Plenty event details. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's do the assignments and... I think I just, yeah, did some more EXP materials, and also, uh, we'll just dispatch again, screw it. Synthesis materials, which has recently unlocked, so I sent, um, Welt and March to get some of those. I suppose we'll do that again. Why not? I don't really know what those are gonna be, I mean, obviously, for synthesis, but, um, but yeah, I've actually, because every, every time I do a video on this, there's so many comments, and thank you so much, everyone, for all the comments. It's it's amazing. Um, I've actually had to do a little, like, notepad list that I've got up on my screen here, just of, like, things that I need to mention or things that you guys have reminded me about. Um, so I've replaced Dan's relics. You remember last time I gave him that set of relics that boosted physical damage? Because in my mind, I'm just so used to other RPGs where, like, hitting something with a spear is physical damage. But no, Dan is wind. He's a windy boy. So I've swapped that gear out, and I think I gave it to, um... Su Shang, possibly? I can't remember. But, um, yeah. So thank you for clarifying that and correcting me on that. Uh, warps. Ooh, I do have, because I have bought some more special passes, so we got 21 of those. I'm still saving those. I do have 11 regular ones, so I think we'll uh, we'll start off with another pull. We might as well. Let's see what we get. And, um, oh god, that's really loud. That's really bloody loud. Turn that down. Fingers crossed we get something cool. Um, I've turned on in the settings the uh, option to show speed values in battle, because apparently that'll help. Um, so I haven't really played around with that yet. Arrows. Another another one of which apparently it's pronounced Shui Shui. Again, there's there's a few different opinions in the comments on how you're actually supposed to pronounce that, but um we've got our idol on now. Holy crap, what the frick? Um it's like the game really wants me to use her. And yeah, she does seem really cool because her ultimate kinda just doesn't give a shit about what their weaknesses are. Uh, so I may end up using her a bit more. I have also, off-screen, uh, advanced or ascended most of my characters, if not all of them. Uh, I haven't leveled them all up to level 30, but I have ascended them, so that's where I got most of these passes from. Uh, and it looks like it's mostly light cones, which is fine. We did just get another uh, four-star character, technically, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And I think, yeah, we're guaranteed one, aren't we? We're guaranteed at least a, a four-star every ten pulls on this anyway, so... That's fine. Another one of her. Um, which has been converted to an Eidolon, so we'll check that out, I suppose. Um, and we've got some Interastral Guide stuff. I've done most of these now. Because I did a Calyx. Uh, destroy three destructible objects. We'll get that done in no time. We'll get that done in no time. And we could also just do another simulated universe. Um, which we might do. We might do. But uh, it's all still going to be World 1 stuff. So, not sure. But obviously, I would like to get these weekly points maxed out. But it might be stuff I do, again, off, off stream or off video. Um, so, I'll claim that stuff in a bit. Nameless Honor. We were level 14. We are about to... Claim another 380, so that's not going to be... Uh, oh, 900. Claim. I could just claim all, couldn't I? Let's do that. Boom, level 15. Nice. What are we going to get? 
Oh. A track, a track of destiny. What does that do? Uh, advanced level up materials for traces. Oh, we need... Oh, of course, yeah, we do spend materials to level those up, don't we? Oh, well, at the moment it's just been credits, but I guess... Okay, well, at least we've got one of those now. That's cool. Uh, Let's do a quick... Well, actually, let's have a look at that Eidolon we just got, because... Even though, again, I'm probably not going to use her right now. As you can see, I've got everyone to at least level 20 now. Uh, and most of them should be ascended. I didn't ascend Bailu for some reason. I could do. I could do to get another pass, but... Um, let's have a look. Eidolons. So... Increase the damage dealt by Talent's follow-up attack by 40%. Uh, and I will need a material for that. So I'm going to hold off. Oh, wait, no, that is the material I just got, isn't it? That is the material. Yeah, okay. We might as well activate under it. Under the Ten Lords as a judge of souls, I come to the world of the living to enforce their will. Ooh, she sounds pretty hardcore. Uh, relics, I'm not going to equip anything on her right now. So my party at the moment is still... Uh, Dan, Natasha, and Welt. I think I'm just going to stick with that for now. I was thinking of putting March on there, but uh, I do like Natasha, and she's got a pretty awesome gear set now, so... Um, right. Was there anything else I wanted to do? Let me check my list. Uh, oh, I forgot to redeem my World Shop rewards. And this is just... There's so many rewards in this game for doing anything. I just completely forgot that I would get anything for buying items, which I already got something for. It's... it's mad. Anyway, um, so I'll probably grab those at some point. Let's read the messages. I'm really trying hard, very, very hard not to sneeze right now. Arlen has sent us another one. Oh, and yeah, apparently I didn't realize when I was using him, but he uses HP to use skills instead of skill points. So he kind of reminds me, especially with the big sword as well, of like a Dark Knight class in Final Fantasy. Um, as a friend... Mage, which color do you think suits me better, blue or gray? As a friend, please choose based on your first impression. Are you hacked? Um, I would probably say blue, right? Blue is the same color as your uniform, yeah. <laughs> I knew blue suits me. It seems we have the same fashion sense. I'm going to buy a new pair of training shoes, so I'm asking you for your opinion as, as a friend. I'll take a picture of you when they arrive. Okay. Asta, stop playing around. Wait, is it actually Asta? Uh, you got me. Don't I sound like Arlen? That's, that's fraud. He edited the message to you multiple times, but didn't send it. Sorry, Miss Asta, just borrowed my phone. I'm sorry to have bothered you. It won't happen again. I'll chat with you later. Okay, Jade. I'll chat with you later. Miss Asta is starting to look at her payment encryption key. I can't let her find it. All right, then. Uh, we've got another message from Train Daddy. Oh, I feel, feel gross saying that. Uh, it's a, another new day, mage. When we step on the express and follow in the footsteps of the nameless, it means that we will become accustomed to things that are not of the ordinary. You will push beyond your limits without even realizing it. Mage, have you experienced anything like that before? Well, there was that time where just prior to my you booping me uh, was when I was going to Supernova, so... Um, I've suddenly started receiving a huge volume of messages. <laughs> messages represent the connection between people. If you receive messages every day, it means the connection between you and the others has deepened during your trailblazed journey. But connections also need to be maintained. Take care to manage your time wisely. Sounds like you're a seasoned veteran. He does have some greys in his hair, so you know by JRPG standards he's, he's ancient. Even though, ooh, I got an achievement. Even though he's probably only like 28 or something. Uh, I don't actually know how old he is, but um, I'll take more jade. Thank you, Welt. Nice. I like those messages. Let's claim that achievement. I did get a couple of achievements off screen as well, so again, I've, I've spent all the jade I can spend, I think. Uh, let me just quickly check the store again, though, first, because, yeah, I've got those 300... Uh, Oh, oneric shards? 
which we spend on contracts, apparently. I don't really know if I should buy any of those. What even are they? Oh, do they just give you, like, a bunch of materials? I guess. Yeah. Okay. I might just save up for the big one, then. I don't know. What's that one? Herta Contract Resource Supply... Resource Supply Volume 2. Tears of Dreams. I don't know about that stuff. I'm going to save it. But yeah, we've not got many jades now, so... Uh, right. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll destroy some things, I'm sure. Let's get through... It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Huh? Sampo? Oh, where is he? Where did he go? Where's that sneaky Sampo gone to? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. <sighs> this isn't the first time. It is not the first time. We should not be so surprised. Uh-oh. It's that same type of robot again. Ugh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. I mean, we've got access, right? We should be allowed to be here. Visitors for his Varog detected. Okay, I like this little robot's voice. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. It almost sounds like March, actually. Uh, who's a good boy? Here's our certification. We just want to see your master. Careful, this one might have a few tricks up its sleeve. I really have no idea which one to choose. I'm going to go for the obviously insulting one. Look oh, at Marge's face. Plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. Is that sarcasm, or are you genuinely hype about this plan? How is that going to improve our chances? It was sarcasm. Damn it. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. What do you mean? Don't tell me Sampo stole our access. Did he- did he steal our permissions? Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Miss Clara. Well, Miss Clara's nice. I'm sure she'll- she'll be- she'll vouch for us, but, um, wh why- why we- why do we no longer have permission? Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? Yeah, which is a place we have to go back to because there's a bunch of quests and we will- we will get to those. We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? I mean... I don't think she's Sarag's owner. Um, what happens if I say that? She's his family. <laughs> Did you really forget? <laughs> I'm making my character out to be such an idiot. Family. Huh, weird. Hey, you've got a family march. Us. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. Yeah. But I still think we should probably find Sampo and ask why the heck you just suddenly bailed on us again. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core's bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. She's going back to Rivet Town. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? But we were just there. Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Uh, uh... Yeah, sort of. Um, you were busy, though. Don't worry about it. You didn't miss much. There's there's some pretty cool Christmas lights, though. Uh, it wasn't as fun as you think. No. Also, a few people have pointed out to me that, uh, well, I, there's some sort of connection between Sila and, and Bronya in, a, in another Honkai game that may or may not be a different universe, alternate universe, but um, they are getting quite friendly, I've noticed. Like, I said they might be besties, but they... They might be re really good friends. Like, you know, Indeed. intimate. And that little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself. It doesn't bear thinking about. I got so distracted then thinking about Bronya's and Sela's uh, budding relationship that I completely didn't read what I just chose. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, 
Let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. Okay then. Back to Rivet Town. Uh, this is a big town. Where should we start? By Where smashing things. Going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. Uh, storage room, right. So where are we going? I mean, I could probably just, I could probably just fast travel there. Uh, in fact, we are going to do that. Boom. Right, I'm guessing these count as destructible objects, right? Surely, surely they do. Can I claim all of my rewards now? Uh. Yes. Okay. Good. I just <laughs> couldn't couldn't see what I was looking at there. Ooh, there we go. Very nice. God, we're getting so much Trailblaze XP. When we get this equilibrium level, we are going to be f shooting up probably to the next blooming barrier. And that's really why I'm progressing or, or prioritizing the story right now. Because I really want to... I feel like we just want to unlock more things before I worry too much about, like, the side missions and, and optional stuff. Like the uh, character quest or companion mission or whatever that is. So, we will get around to those. And I think you chaps also mentioned that... I think it might be this one. One of these unlocks like a, a daily puzzle thing, which I'm not the great <laughs> the greatest of puzzles, but I mean, again, if it's another thing we can do, then that'd be pretty awesome. But uh, for now, we're gonna get this story mission done to rot or to burn. Although it looks like that one will. Pr I mean, yeah, we can't do this yet. Not good of a farewell. So I, I feel like that's that sounds to me like that's going to be like the end of this particular story arc. But who knows? Anyway, we're just going to crack on with the story. God, we've got so much XP. Right, go to the storage room and find Clara. Uh, did I break that robot last time I was here? That's probably not a good sign. Isn't this the robot that was following Clara around. Oh no! Was that Perkins? Can openers all look the same? How can you tell them apart? That wasn't Perkins, was it? Shh. It's about to say something. Listen. Was it Perkins? Initializing self repair module. Initialization failure. Oh no. No, don't die, Perkins. Clara in danger. Oh shit. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop target must be in. No! Wait, does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. Okay. Oh, I'm more gutted about Perkins. Perkins was a legend. God damn it. Alright, we're going back this way. Oh. Oh, hi. I think we may have a boss fight, chaps. I think we may have a boss fight. Or at least a mini boss fight. Oh yeah, look, she's right there. She's right there. That's so weird. Because I kind of bypassed her by fast traveling here. Anyway, let's go save Clara. Or attempt to. Just as we feared, there's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. We have to save her. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. We do. We don't have the size advantage, though. But I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm really trying hard not to sneeze. Why is it whenever I start to record, something happens? I get interrupted or I need to sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. I just, I feel it. <laughs> Bless me. There we go. It happened. Right, so we've got, uh, we've got two ultimates here. We'll save Natasha's, obviously, because we don't need to heal right now. Don't Although, saying that, Welt has been inflicted with burn... Although she can cure that with just a heal anyway, I think. So yeah, I've got the uh, the numbers on the left there, which are speed values, I guess. So the higher that number, the the slower you are. I the lower the number, the quicker you are. I assume. I assume. Right. Let's go for. Oh, you're not weak to wind. That's a shame. In fact, you're only really weak to my main character. But let's see if we can inflict uh, slow anyway. Yes, we did. Uh, let's slow this, slow this battle down a little bit, uh, a little bit. Right. 
Let's go for... I'm going to try and save Welt's ultimate for in between the enemy's attacks. Uh, although I feel like... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, tr we'll try that. We'll try that. Okay, let's go for... A blast. Bosh. Yeah, I've noticed Natasha's getting some health back. I think it's Natasha. Um, right, well, let's go for a bounce, my dude. I won't go easy on you. It's got even more slow on it. Holy crud. Uh, Natasha just hit it. Dan's got another attack coming. Um, which we might as well do. Okay, so he's attacking now. So if we do an ultimate now... Ooh, ouch. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to ultimate with Natasha as well, just to top you us up. And maybe cure those ailments, because we are currently on fire. Uh, right, yeah, so... Let's do... Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. Big old black hole. No choice. Imprisonment. Just in time. And yeah, it's now lost its second attack. That's so cool. Let's restore. Just a little something. Every time. Every time. I always forget that her ultimate starts that way. Don't worry about me. Okay. Let's oh, that go. didn't actually cure the burning. I thought that would do. Uh, does it only... Let's just have a quick look. Natasha. What does your ultimate do again? Oh, just heals allies. I think it's her regular skill that does that. Um, or maybe... Uh, okay, maybe maybe later on she can do that then? I could have sworn someone... People have said that she can cure like, ailments, but maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. Okay, anyway. Right. Uh, do we want to blast here? I suppose we can do... Bosh, ultimate. Uh, rules are made to be broken. I mean, I wonder if I had used Welt's ultimate before the enemy got the first attack off. Could I have delayed them? Probably could have done, right? I probably could have done. Uh, go. Get broken, bitch. Oh, it's nearly dead. It's so nearly Seems dead. You need to experience something. Nice. Not a problem. I'm liking this team. I am liking this team. You're right, Clara. Are you okay, Clara? Are you hurt? Th thanks, everyone. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. Oh, she's so pleasant. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? I mean, we heard, didn't we? She's trying to find some sort of things to fix the the, the things with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I feel like you're you're taking on a lot of people's problems, Clara. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. And and poor Perkins paid the price. I feel like you maybe could have asked for some help. Oh, uh, She's she's just going off on her own. I mean, she had Perkins with her, but like, damn, Clara. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. Oh yeah, will that will that help us maybe get in his good graces? Uh, we were just about to pay him a visit and beat him up. Uh huh. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. Uh, we'd rather do it in person with Spears. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him, face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But... Mr. Sparg doesn't like talking to others. Especially Wildfire. I mean, I'm not Wildfire. March isn't Wildfire. Dan isn't Wildfire. Well isn't Wildfire. Aster isn't Wildfire. Hook kind of is. Um, I was gonna go through all my characters then as a joke, but then I completely forgot which characters I have, so... Anyway... <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Um... 
I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarog doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarog and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Hmm. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Listen, kid. You... Sila. Let's, let's not be mean to Clara, okay? Uh, Clara. You said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? That's a good way of putting it. I know Mr. Svarov. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Mm -hmm. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarok thinks that the overworld will end soon. It very well might do, unless we get some sort of help taking out this Stellaron. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the Underworlders away from the source of the disaster, so they can survive for longer. Uh. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous. What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? Uh, see it as returning the favor, Clara. We have to see him, whatever the cost. Why don't we think of another way? Is there another way? I'm always trying to convince Mr. Svarov. Please give me more time. How much time is more time? Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Okay, please look after yourself, Clara. I'm so sorry about Perkins. Hopefully you can fix him. It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. Yeah, so how the heck are we going to get to Svarog then? We'll have to think of another way. That's what I said. That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so... stubborn? No. Intelligent? Definitely intelligent. Definitely caring. She's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you. I knew March. that was coming. I knew there would be some sort of sick burn directed at March comparing her to Clara. I just felt it and Dan delivered. High five, Dan. Did you really have to add that last? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. I hope we don't have to fight Clara. That would suck. Is there any other way? If we circumvent Clara and the gate... Svarog will only identify us as intruders. He'll be even more likely to give us the cold shoulder. Hmm. Mm, isn't a robot shoulder cold to begin with? Technically, yes. Unless it has its own central heating system. But to, without that, yes, it would be very cold. Especially on this planet right now. Clara mentioned Svarog's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. Yeah. So, you think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? Maybe we can change his logic. Maybe we can change the circumstances. No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. Us. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. Us. We're the new variable. Hmm. Precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation. And we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? Just show him a photo of us, like, killing an enemy or something. There's always a way. First, we have to convince Clara. Oh god, right, so we're back to convincing Clara now. 
I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. There's a little bit of back and forth going on, I'm noticing. Am I playing a Realm Reborn or is this Honkai? <coughs> anyway, right. Back to the robot settlement, get some more gaseous liquid. As opposed to solid water. Uh, right, I'm just thinking, do I want to do anything right now? No, we'll just we'll just crack on. I was thinking of going back and redeeming those um, world shop points. Um, there was also I'm sure there was something else I'm forgetting. I'm sure there was something else I'm forgetting. I think I've spent like all of my. I think I've leveled up everyone's traces as far as I can get them. I think. We'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. She turned that way, quick. Oh, we're gonna go that way now, right? Is that gonna be? In operation, the lift. Yeah, it's time to do some good old-fashioned dungeon in. Here we go. Okay, right. Many, well, I say many. Two ways we can go, basically. Uh, I'm guessing. I mean, that's where the story wants me to go, but should I should I go and explore somewhere else for a little bit? I think we should. I think we should. Oh no. Percival too. Percival? Perkins. Percival's not... <laughs> Just making up names now. I'm really sorry. I feel like, you know what? I might put Saval back on the team if we're going to be fighting more robots. Step aside. I have but who no would I swap out? I could technically swap out Dan. Or Welt, but I like Welt. Uh, well, I like Dan as well. Choices, choices, choices. I mean, Dan is still good against these, but just not all of them at once. But he does he does inflict slow and just one-shot that thing, so that's pretty pretty cool. The truth of life I just got my ultimate off in time. In an instant. This yeah, I think I'll just stick with this party now, but I, I might... Oh, I do like Saval. Not used her in a while, have we? Let's make it quick. Okay. Uh, just smack it. Although, really, we should just be spamming skills here, really. Because this thing's nearly dead. It doesn't matter. I'm probably thinking about these little fights too much. Like, we could more than likely just auto them and be fine. Never heard of it. In fact, let's just do that and see what they do. Because really, there's only so many different options at the moment we can choose, so... Ooh, that hurt Natasha quite a bit, actually. Goddamn! Witness the stars shatter before you. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I would have saved that Survive ultimate for a different fight, but... There is no other choice. That is cool. Bosh. Right. Let's see what's over. Oh, gosh. All right. We got another formidable foe. Uh, there's a chest up here. Quickly grab that. Uh, so, I've again, I've been told conflicting stories on, like, apparently the, the contents in chests don't change. Other people say they do, but honestly, I'm just playing the game as I usually would, um, even with quite a lot of input from you chaps, and if I was just playing this by myself, I'd I'd open every chest I, I came across, even if I was kind of capped, uh, currently at equilibrium level zero or whatever it is. Uh, ooh, yeah. Okay. Let's go for you. Is it me or is Dan getting his ultimate like really death, fast? Revealed in an instant. This Feels like he's getting it a lot. Is but a vision. And really, I should again, but with Dan, I should be focusing on one enemy at a time. But it doesn't really matter against Let's these go. things anyway, that one's dead. How about this? Well, give it a bounce. Calm your body and mind. Oof. Oof. Savor the vigorous. Step aside. I have oh, no Oh yes, yeah, so it, it, it set up a shield, I just realized. Little sod. Little sod. 
Just delaying the inevitable. Right. Reach the end of the story in your own way. That one's dead, so this was basically just a dead end with a chest. That's fine. Should I should I tackle this foe? Keep at it. I think we I think we will. Let's we need a get powered up. This will strengthen our position. Oof, just got that in time. Just got that in time. Completely pressed the wrong thing. button. Right, let's get rid of you. You're slowed, so you're gonna get windsheared anyway, I think. Yep, you are. Uh, go for a blast. Which kills that other guy. Go for an ultimate. Again, we'll speed this up a little bit now. Well, let's go for a bounce. All that slow. All of that slow. And we're burned. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's just heal yourself, Natasha. Hmm. I've no interest in conflict. And let's hit it. We need some skill points let's now. Let's make it quick. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Bosh. Dan is doing some seriously good damage, I think. Da damage? Seriously good damage? No. Uh, just smack it. Bounce. Did you did you resist? You did resist, but I think it's just because you're already freaking slow to buggery anyway. Uh. Right, hit it. Bosh. Ah, I see. I could. Yeah, we'll ultimate with Natasha now and just get a heal. Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of you. Don't worry about me. And. It slowed. Go. Very good. Let's begin. So I really, again, should be using. We'll use his ultimate, and then we'll use his skill. Of the weight behind. Survive or be destroyed. There is no way. Get imprisoned, bitch. Get broken, bitch. Oh, that is that is some good damage. Well, starting to kick it out a little bit now. I've no interest in conflict. And uh, now, nah, just 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 hits it. Just hits it. Finish it well. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Formidable foe. <laughs> Formidable foe, my left bum cheek. Let's see what we get. More you relics, more shields, more jade, and XP. Right. Is that all there was this way? No, there's a puzzle thing over here. Ooh. And another chest. Can I ignore you? Bountiful treasure. Oh! Oh god, ambushed. Okay, that was very quick, but I think um, I think I might start cutting out the some of these random encounters against things that we've seen quite a few times. Let me know. Let me know if you'd want to. If you want to just keep those in, that's fine as well. But uh, right, repair this then, shall we? Oh my god. That's a big... Oh, bloody hell, this is going to take me forever. It's going to take me forever, lad. Uh... Oh, that's promising. Oh, that's promising. Yes? Uh, no. Oh, I can't move that one. Oh, that needs to be... Oh, just need one more. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Uh Dude. That's so close. So close. That's not right, is it? That can't be right. Oh, I'm messing this up big time. Oh, I've done so well with these other puzzles. And now it's all gone to shit. Hey! No, totally dealt. wasn't accidental, that. Really knew what I was doing every step of the way. 
And we get this even more things. Here. Good stuff. Uh, da, da, da. I've just noticed there's a thing on the bottom left there with a speech bubble and some party things. Does that mean that I've, I can have a conversation with my party? I don't know. <laughs> right, I think that's... Is that every everywhere cleared out? Looks like it. Looks like it. Let's go. Another space wanker there as well. Huh? Where'd she go? We just saw her go this way. <sighs> we'll just have to head straight and keep looking. We certainly will. We certainly will. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, you're guarding a chest. Is that another... Lava puzzle. Oh no, there she is. She's over there. We found her. That was not very difficult at all. But what's over this way? What's over this way? Really, 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 really tempted to, uh, to put Saval in the party. Alright, nice and easy. Let's see what we get in this chest. Don't guarantee future ones. Stella Jade. Getting a lot of relics. Getting a lot of relics, which I could use to upgrade our the ones that we're actually using. Um, ooh, big boy, big boy. What are you weak to? Oh, you're weak to imaginary as well. That's fine. I should probably be using uh, some more of my techniques. Right. Again, we fought one of these before. Oh my god, are you serious? Move carefully. Oh shit. Uh, they're gonna explode, so should I focus on them first? Maybe I should. Although, they probably weren't gonna explode for a while. Let's make it quick. Oh, they exploded and actually did damage to him as well. Oh. Hey, that's nice to know. Leave it to me. That's very nice to know. Nice. Get some slow on him, and that means Dan's ultimate will do a whole buttload of damage. Oh, that one's shielded. That's annoying. Uh, could get rid of that shield. Could heal Welt. Uh, we'll just, we'll just hit it. There we go. That shield's gone. Uh, should I focus on that one that's about to explode? Maybe I should. Yeah, go for it. And ultimate. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. You're slowed, so let's go for. Oh, well, actually. Uh, yeah, we'll go for the big guy. The is but a vision. Break. And rage order. Oh, Natasha's been taunted. She's been taunted. Just a scratch. Let's begin. Going well. Yep. Nice. Ah, not quite quick enough. You know nothing of the weight behind this. Survive. Imprison them, destroy. and then we should have no a choice. A much easier time. Taunted cannot select this target. Oh shit! So I have to attack. Can I not even use a skill? Will it even let me use a skill? That's oh, it will. Fair. Oh, that's fine. No that's fine. And in fact, yeah, let's use her ultimate Just as well. Just a little something. Don't worry about me. Okay, let's finish you off, although you are currently in prison, so... Nice crit. Oh, shit! Ooh, that hurt a lot. That hurt a heck of a lot. Bloody hell. Christ. That did way more damage than I thought it would. Leave it to me. Okay, right, he's slowed again, so he's going after Dan. He's got two attacks coming up, though. I feel like we need to restore. We need to heal. We need to heal. Um, who do I need to heal? Probably Welt. Timely treatment. Okay, Dan just hits it. Hope for the best. Oh, I'm glad I did heal Welt now. Oh no, he summoned more friends. That's alright, they're not an issue. They're not really an issue. Um, 
This guy is tough. This guy is tough. Alright, we've nearly got Welt's energy up. This is where I, w I wish we had Tingyun. Uh... Yeah, again, do some healing. I suppose we'll heal down this That's time. Me. Don't worry about me. I need more skill points. Oh, Dan's taunted, so I have to attack him. Okay. I was gonna hit one of the other ones, but I suppose that might be a bit of a waste. Let's make it quick. Uh I'm gonna save Natasha's ultimate. Or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should use it. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, no, actually, just just single target. Single target. That's gonna sting. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, and Natasha's. Just in time. Wow. I guess that was one of her um talents, was it? Or. Something to do with the relics, I can't remember. There's so many effects that happen in that I'm like, wait, why is that happening? <laughs> uh, but yeah, we need to... We need a big old heal here, please, Nat. Nat, thank you very much. Let's begin. Ow, that does so much damage, man. We're kind of getting trounced here a little bit. We are getting trounced a little bit. You know nothing of the weight behind the... Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Oh, we can't imprison you for some reason. Right. Again, restore. Let's heal me this time. Much better. Oh my god, Let's dude. Go. Are you serious? Right. Yeah, just go for it. I'll tell you what, this is getting close. This is getting close. This has not been a good performance by me. Um but we've nearly got it. Nearly-ish. Okay, it's slowed. That's good. Oh, man. I really, 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 really need Nat's ultimate. He's so nearly dead. I have to, I have to restore Dan. I have to heal Dan. Don't worry about me. Oh, we got ultimate. We got ultimate. Oh, I'm glad I survived that. Okay. Whew. That's fine. You're nearly dead, mate, anyway. You're nearly dead. This this has been... This is a formidable foe. Right. Well, it's going next, so... I think we'll just smack you. Will this kill you? Probably not. Oh. The truth of life and That's death. fine. Revealed Get rid of the big dude. Century. If we can. So close. Nap time. And down he goes. Alright. That was pretty tough. That was, oh, I nearly lost a few people there. We got a phase for Oh, that was a formidable foe. Oh, my bad. I was wondering why that was so tough. And even more goodies. Yeah, I should have buffed myself before that fight. Absolutely should have buffed myself before that fight. Right. Uh, there's a space wanker. Might as well quickly get a heal. And I think that means we've gone everywhere. Yeah. Well, it's everywhere we can currently go. It looks like there might be a little path. Oh, that's where we came from anyway. Right, anyway. Let's go save Clara. Maybe if I can avoid those guys. Hi, Clara. Oh, no! I can't talk to people when I'm being attacked. I didn't know that. Shucks. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. We got this. Let's make it quick. I love that when they explode, they hurt the other one. That's really good. That's really good. Cool. Alright. Uh, 
I think we'll probably go for you. Uh, we could ultimate with Welt, but leave it to me. Maybe I should have done. Maybe I should have done. I mean, I still could. I still could. Yeah, let's do it. You know nothing of the weight behind the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Defo, Defo should have ulti ultimated there. <laughs> nice. All right, Clara, can I talk to you now? Don't guarantee future ones. Figure it out. Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. Her feet must be bloody freezing. You don't got frostbite on your toes. Uh, we couldn't give up that easily. You keep saying that, but are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack. Huh? How did you know? The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. Oh, Dan knows his stuff. You replaced the damaged components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out, right? Yeah, I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Sparog helping you? Good question. I don't want to disturb him. This installation was accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Sparog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. Oh, what would he do to them? Uh, you give a lot of thought to others. She really does. She really does. You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Sadly, that is uh, one of the many, many unfortunate truths of the world. I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. And there's a misalignment. Ah, Eagle Eye Dan. You two, give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. Okay, as long as I don't have to do any more puzzles, it's fine. More fixing? I'm getting good at this. Oh no, I do have to fix it. No, I do have to fix Can it for really fuck's sake. This? I'm glad you're so confident, March. Less asking, more helping. Can Dan do it, please? Okay, this one actually doesn't look as bad as the last one we did. Uh. Uh, well, it's gotta be one of those two, right? And then. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yay! I'm smart. Whoa. No need. We hardly lifted a finger. So, the settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Um... We're not trying to win you over on the issue of Sparag. I mean, it's true, we're not really. I think we just did that because we're, we're nice people, but um, if it had the benefit of maybe getting us in our good books. Uh, we're not trying to win you over. I understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. You're good people. So are you. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... Uh... How are we going to convince her? Hmm. Remind her of the present situation. Point out the variable. Make something up. I don't want to lie to Clara. I can't, I, even though I really want to choose that, I'm not going to lie to Clara. We're going to point out the variable. Right? 
Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? Well, uh, you do look very different from other people. Right. That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Sparog's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. A very logical statement. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was... a long time ago. The same time the underworld was sealed off, I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a silver main guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... Yeah, I yeah, I forgot that Bronya and Sealer are with us right now. And we learned last time, didn't we? We learned that Bronya isn't actually Coca-Cola's real daughter. So really curious to see where that's gonna go. Uh not even from this planet. Completely separate variables. Three people more than we started. More than when we started, I'm going with that one. That's your big reveal. The important part is, we're from a different planet. <laughs> I love messing with March. There's just no way that Sparrock's calculations would have included variables like us, you know? Different planet? Yeah. Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made-up stories that grown-ups like to tell. I don't... No, it's true. It's true, all of it. They're not made up. In other worlds, people have already conquered the heavens. But you are a child. I don't actually know how old Clara is, but she does look like a child. Although, by fucking anime standards, she's probably 5,000 years old. Uh, in other words, in other worlds, people have already conquered the heavens. Hey. He and March aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya. Do you really... I know how you feel, Clara. And you want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and he, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Look at the big shit-eating grin March has got on her face. Let them meet Svarag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him, there's no harm in trying, right? I think we may have won her over. I think we may have convinced her. You've already seen our ability. We will bring change to this world. Come on. What are you what are we what have we got to lose? Come on. Come on. I <sighs> Okay. I'll take you to see Mr. Sparrow. Yes. Awesome! I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Sparrow's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick. Losing their homes and fighting. Just like in the mine. Mm. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Sparrow, then I need to be brave too. You can do it, Clara. I believe in you. Everyone, follow me. Yes. Progress. Brother, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. Yeah. It was nothing. I just said what I truly felt. Yeah, the the they're getting real friendly. Right. Well, that's good. Um. Oh. Grab this, whatever. No. Grab the grab the collecting thing. No, grab the collecting. Th there we go. Uh, observation diary of a child or something. You know what? We'll run around as nap for a little bit. Right. Uh, I was thinking actually. I mean, I know I did say we want to prioritize the story, and we're really on a roll with that right now. Um, but I'm worried that maybe this is going to be a big event. Should we just? You know what, let's just do it. Let's just do it. I was going to maybe start a little side mission or something, but um, maybe we'll do those next time. Let's go to that one. All right. Is she going to let us in? I'm back, Timmy. Timmy! 
No, it's not called Timmy, is it? Welcome back, Miss Clara. Timmy. Timmy, open the gate, please. I want to see Mr. Svarov. We had Perkins, Timmy. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? What next, Benji? Like It's okay. They're all my guests. Command received. Access restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. And guests, heck yeah. All right, we're in, chaps. We are in. Or do we still have to... Uh, if you can, please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. No promises on that one. But hopefully he'll he'll see the 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 logic in what we're uh, what we're trying to you know argue. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. Yeah. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. No, you don't say, Sila. No. What are you talking about? You have such a great way with people and making them see your point of view in a completely non-threatening way. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Are you ready? Oh. Oh, this feels big. This feels big. You know what? We're not going to do it in this episode. We're going to do that next time. I'm so sorry, guys, for the bit of a shitty cliffhanger. But we are actually not going to end the video just yet. <clears throat> We're not going to end it just yet. We are going to head back to Boulder Town for one thing and grab the rewards from the shop, which I hope we can still grab. I hope. Hard work needs hard rest. Hard rest. Uh, Wait, you're not there. No, you're not the one. It's louder. Uh, I want to buy something. More, more importantly, I want to claim my rewards. Yeah, get 50, 50 bloody jade. Nice. Oh my god, I can claim all sorts of things. Another regular pass. 50 more jade? Dude. <gasps> what? Oh, because I spent so much shield, didn't I? We are wildfire. Who's that? Who is that? We are wildfire. Oh my god, even more? I spent... Oh my god, I spent so... No wonder you guys were like, Mage, you need to get your rewards. Dude, right. I mean, if we spend a bit more, we'll probably get another 50... That's mental! Holy crap, I should really go and spend some more currency at those other shops. Um, cheers, Louder. That's mental! How many do how many jades do I have now? 349! Bloody hell! Get two more of those bad boys, thanks very much. Okay. Good stuff. Uh right, so let's do Survival Wisdom. So that's that's Sampo. I am curious why he buggered off. I don't, I don't know if that's going to explain it, though, because it's a side mission. But um, And then we have our companion mission uh, receive Julian's group message saying that Hook is in trouble. So we'll probably do that next time, but I'm going to go to the Great Mine anyway and speak to the senior minecart operator because, yeah, apparently this will unlock something for us. So... Oh, would you like to be teleported nearby? Oh, that's handy, isn't it? Yeah, because we don't have the space anchor that's closest to that, apparently. Uh, how do I get up there? Oh. I need to backtrack. Is it up this way? Oh, enemies have respawned as well. So, again, I'm probably not going to show every single fight uh, no interest from now on, just because we've seen them all before, but to be fair, they all... They are all pretty quick. So just let me know. Let me know. But I mean, I'm guessing you guys don't need to see every single fight. Because they're all pretty much the same now. Unless we fight something new, obviously. Uh, A delicate operation. Tree bark of erudition was that? Right. We want to go this way. The juxtaposition of such a calm, healing, kind person uh, that just has a, a grenade launcher. It's amazing. Ooh. 
Oh, okay, I was going to say, big open area. Right, grab this. There we go. Some chests. Some things to pick up. This is enough for me. Take the rest. Yeah. I should probably check my relic situation. I bet I could probably equip people with better stuff now. But uh, I might do that later off screen. Hello, Peak, Lazy Miner. Snore. It's time to wake up. <laughs> uh, who is it? Oh, oh, we meet again. It seems we have a connection. Oh, is this is this one of the guys that apparently runs a podcast or something? I've I've never heard of them, never listened to it, but that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Rumble. Time to get up for breakfast. I've been sleeping all day. I've been sleeping a lot lately, actually. Uh, you haven't eaten all day. It's only been one day, which is pretty normal. It's no, it's really no big deal. My record is fasting for three days, so this is nothing. Again, though, if you don't have to do that, why would you do that? It's not like I might die. I mean, you might, though. If you don't eat, you might actually die. That's the thing that can happen. Don't look at me like... <laughs> at me with all that pity. It's nothing. By the way, why did you wake me up again? Because I'm a nosy bitch, basically. Um, I'm curious. Why are you so lazy? Lazy? No, no, I'm not lazy. It's just my way of life. It's not like I don't do anything at all. I simply do the minimum amount, but I do the work on time. Hey, I can't judge, all right? As long as, long as you're getting the work done. If you ask me, mining is not worth the effort and energy. Digging every day can trap the mind. Oh, it's got to be one of the worst professions ever. My way of breaking the cycle is to sleep. I stay clear of the world's disturbances through the low-cost actor and regularly reflect on my life. I feel like I can relate to Peak so much. I sleep so much, man. Sleep is the best. Um, what will you do when you're old? That's far in the future. Why think about it now? Don't worry so much. I won't starve to death. Look at those hard-working miners. They're all soaked in sweat all day long, and what do they get? They miss out on life when they're young, and when they're old, they're sick and in pain. He's probably not wrong. You should focus on them instead of worrying about me. In my opinion, they are the poor ones. Okay. How can you live on such a small amount of money? Aren't you worried about what people will say? I don't have any more questions for now, Peek. I'll see you later. I've got to at least start this quest. Uh, watch carefully. The thing is called... This thing is called a turntable controller. You put your hand here and then do this. Just where did you pop out from? Do you need me or something? Um, I'm sent here to be your assistant instructor. Assistant? What instru uh, assistant instructor? Oh, I'm guessing he didn't get the memo. Didn't you get the memo? Antonia sent you here, didn't she? Yeah, I probably should have said that, to be fair. Oh, that girl always makes decisions for me without first consulting me. I've told her many times that I can deal with this myself. But now that you're here, I can't let you just hang around and do nothing. I mean, you could. We could just go. We could just go. Um, I'm happy to just hang around. No, let's get started. Uh, Alright, come give me a hand. Help me set things up. Hey kid, come over here. Do you see what's in front of you? I'm not going to explain how minecarts and tracks work. You grew up in the underworld, so even if you've never seen them before, you've probably heard of them. I mean, I haven't grown up in the underworld. But I did watch a lot of Thomas the Tank growing up, so... I am in my element. Or is he talking to the apprentice? He's probably talking to the apprentice, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the thing you need to pay attention to is this, the track controller. The principle is very simple. Operate the controller like I just told you, and the disconnected tracks on the turn t uh, turnout will be connected again. Together. After that, the Geomaro light on the connected track will light up. You can then use this to judge which direction the minecart will go. Hmm? Then comes this blocker. As the name implies, the blocker will block the route of the minecart. Push the cross button to lock the minecart. If the minecart is stopped by one of these, then the only thing we can do is send it, send it back to where it just came from. Huh. All we need to do is plan out the route to uh, the path and adjust the track direction through the controller to push the minecart to its destination. Uh, anyone play... The first Harry Potter game on PS1. Uh, that's it, I'm done. I uh, just groaned and moaned and didn't say anything, so I'm not sure uh, if you're getting all of this. But I have a way to test you. See, the test rig has been set up for you already. Show me you, uh, how you'll go about operating it. I'm not so sure about this. What do you mean by that? 
Well, it's way too hard. What did you say? Like I said, it's too hard. How should I go about it? I don't understand. I give up. How many times have I taught you this already, huh? When we talk about the theory, you seem to be pretty onto it. Why it's always a cop-out when it comes to the real thing. Anyone with a shred of intelligence should have mastered this a long time ago. Operate the controller, change the track, move forward, operate the controller again, and then reverse. What is the difficulty in that? I tend to learn by doing. I'm less of a... Like, you explain all the theory to me, but it'll probably just go out of my head. Um, I'm much more like, okay, show me how it works. Explain why things are working the way they are. Okay, I'll give it a go. I might still fuck it up, but... I'll try my best. Still can't figure it out. Brats, you're trying to send me to an early grave, aren't you? Yeah, I knew I was gonna have to show him how it's done. Uh, I don't get it either. Hee <laughs> hee. Stop playing dumb. You were there when I was explaining everything. You should know just by watching. Let's get started. Okay. Alright, minecart test. What the heck? A minecart operator and his apprentice seem to be having a bit of trouble in the great mine. Help them push the minecarts to the designated blockers and you may find something of interest. Now you speak in my language. The goal is to move the empty minecarts to the blue blockers and move the loaded ones to the yellow ones. You can load or empty minecarts at the ore piles. Uh, the minecarts won't move, you need to use the turn- Okay, I mean this is gonna be super simple at first, right? Also, I got one stellar jade, holy shit. Quick, let me just write home about that. Uh, switch track, right, so... Uh... I guess... Mm, yeah, that's right, and then... Change the other one. And push the minecart. Push it. Push it real good. Oh, look at that. How easy was that? New treasure can be obtained. Where? How? When? I did it. That was a piece of piss. Come on, let's get. Uh, let me give you a little something. But it's not over yet. Hang on, I'll get another one for you. Ooh! Nice! Hey, that's actually a decent reward. Okay. Great, the venue's all sorted. Are you up for the next challenge? Let's go! That's a spirit. Watch the carefully, boy. The blocker with the yellow light is on uh, the stop for the loaded minecarts. The empty minecart should... Okay, so I basically just have to swap. Okay, I think I, I think I see what I need to do here. I think I get it. So I need to move this one out of the way. Oh. There is a... Wait, what do you mean there's a cart? There's a cart blocker ahead. Try a different direction. What do you mean? Surely I have... Oh, do I need to... I'll move the blue one first then. Move the blue one first. Right, so... Switch track. Skadoosh. What do you mean there's a cart blocker ahead? No, there's... No, there's... Oh no. No, there is. Never mind. My bad. My bad. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Although I really do feel like I should probably move this one out first. You know what I mean? Like, realistically, I should be able to just move that out a little bit and then move that back. Anyway. Come on. What do you... What do you mean? Do I have to... Oh, do I have to... Em Okay, why am I failing at this so miserably? Why am I failing at this so miserably? Hang on. Is it because they can't run into each other? Like that one totally would do. There's not another switch I'm missing, is there? So if we put this one back... What do you mean, a different direction? I'm trying to move- Oh my god, I suck at this. There's a cart blocker ahead. Yeah, well, 
I had this in the other direction before and you wouldn't move then. I must have to... That's not going to work. No. What the fuck? I still can't move this one, right? Oh, I know you guys are screaming at me. I've tried to get the blue, the blue one over to that, but that's going to the yellow one, and I don't want it there. We want it in the blue one. Oh, now it's... I swear I tried that. I swear I tried that. Okay, so now we can bring this one out. So we swap this. What do you? Why can't I just move that one out? I need because I need to swap these two round, right? Do I need this one to be switched back so it doesn't go all the way to the end? Even though that really wouldn't make any difference. What the shit is going on? Do I have to fill this one first? Push the minecart. I don't. I don't want to do that. Why am I struggling with this so much? Do I have to get it all the way, all the way over here? I swear, again, I swear I tried that. So this should go to the other end now. No, it won't. I thought I understood the logic. I thought I understood the logic. Why? Dude, is there some... Oh. Oh, it thought I was trying to push it this way. Oh, it, it it matters which side of the cart you you decide to... Right. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. I see. Right, so now I can push this one back out if I swap this track. Right. I should be able to push this one back. No, not the space anchor for fuck's sake. Push the minecart. There we go. That's going to go right. That's fine. So now I swap this one back. We got it. We got it. I just thought you just had to interact with them. It didn't matter where you were. So that should go back. Nice. No, don't, don't switch the track. I didn't tell you to switch the track. Well, I did. Because that's how games work, but... Push the minecart. Not... Thank you. Okay, so that's a little bit finicky. Right. Blue one's there. Boom. Now we swap the track. And now we push this one back. And hey, presto. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. We did it. Oh my god, that confused me so much. But now I understand how it works. Christ alive. You got, you, you're gutsy and smarter than this kid. I don't know, mate. Uh, did you see how long that took me? Take this reward. More if Stella Jade. Medicine, it'll come in handy. More shield as well. Right, is there one more to do? The venue's all sorted. All right, let's go. That's the spirit. Watch carefully, boy. The blocker with the yellow light is on the, t uh, on the stop with the loaded, for the loaded minecarts. Minecart needs to be loaded or unload the Geomara. Okay. All right, now that I know what I'm doing, this should be a piece of piss. So I think these tracks are already lined up perfectly for me. So if I push this all the way over there, and then I change this one. Then we push it over there to get loaded up. Is that just going to magically load up now? Do I have to, like, physically load ores? Nice. Right, then we push you back. No, don't... Uh, did I just unload them? No, load the ores! Oh my god! Push the minecart. Swap the switch back. Push it all the way to the end. Then, I wonder if I could run myself over with the cart. That would be hilarious. Change the switch. Push the cart. Bingo. 
Heck yeah. You actually solved it. See what I mean? I told you anyone with half a brain should have learned all this ages ago. Being an assistant instructor isn't easy. Hey, whom are you calling half a brain? It's just a minecart. I guess it's time to get serious. So now, uh, you are getting motivated? Were you just slacking off most of the time? I'll do with my lazy apprentice later. Thank you for your help today. No probs. Take this as a reward. You've already given me like three rewards. Um, puzzle that I gave to the brat today was nothing more than an appetizer. The tricky stuff is yet to come. I'm looking forward to more of those, actually. The smart boy like you to motivate him. I mean, you are talking to Natasha right now. The brat might actually be putting a bit more effort into things. Your reward, reward is over there. Go look. Okay. Bountiful treasure. Ooh. 100 shield. Holy crap. So we're getting so many relics. We're getting so many goddamn relics. Right. So now do I... I guess that quest is done. I think with that quest is done. From the looks of things. Yes. Yes. So we still got to do one for Sampo. We might do that next time. Going to do the companion one hopefully next time as well. But more importantly, we will be heading into Svarog's base properly next time. Thank you for watching everyone. And uh, sorry for the no doubt heavy amount of frustration you all had with me not quite pushing the minecarts the right way. Take care everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.